All right, let's get straight to the point. Today we're going to be talking about locating a square pattern of clearance holes using GD&T. And I'm going to walk you through the pick three method. So what we have here, we have what you typically see on a drawing. You have your flat plate, you have your four clearance holes. You have your top view, and you have your front section view. The first thing you're going to do, you're going to pick your datums. Typically there's three datums, and typically those datums are A, B, and C. Your datums are your starting point. So let's pick our datums. The first datum I'm going to pick, I'm going to pick this bottom surface of this plate down here. What I'm doing is I'm telling the machinist, I want the whole axis to be perpendicular to that bottom surface. Second datum I'm going to choose, this surface here. What I'm doing is telling the machinist, I want you to start from this surface and move across to locate each set of holes in the pattern. Third datum, this surface here. Once again, similar to B. I'm telling the machinist I want you to start at this surface and move upwards to locate each set of holes in the pattern. Second thing you're going to do, you're going to pick your dimensions. Your dimensions are your design values. They're the exact distance that you want the machinist to use when they drill the holes. Now, typically on drawings, we're used to seeing plus or minus dimensions like this for each distance dimension. However, with GDMT, drop the plus or minus off. Then box your dimension. Make sure and do that for each distance dimension. One thing I want to touch on really quickly, notice I have a 2x next to each distance dimension. All I'm doing is telling the machinist, look, I have two features that I'm locating for each of those distance dimensions. The other one, 4x on this hole size. I'm just telling the machinist, look, I have four holes here, and I want to apply this call out to it. All right. So third thing you're going to do, you're going to pick your tolerance. Now, we've eliminated the plus or minus off these distance dimensions. So you've got to give the machinist tolerance somewhere. And where you do that is right here in your GDMT symbol. 14 thousandths that you notice I've chosen here is very typical in industry. And also notice that I've entered my datums in the order that I selected them. First, second, third, A, B, and C. So I've created this typical G, D, and T symbol that you can use in this type of situation. Go ahead and place it directly underneath your hole size and your hole size tolerance. Okay, so covered number one, two, and three. Now, just really quickly, I want to talk about chain dimensioning. Chain dimensioning is when you have a dimension and then you have another dimension based off that first one. Now, with plus or minus, typical dimensioning, that can introduce tolerance stack up. However, with GDMT, because we're using exact distance dimensions, there is no tolerance stack up error introduced. So feel free to use chain dimensioning when using GDMT. And that's straight to the point.